Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some yarny goodness. Hello, and welcome to Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Um, I wanted to share with everyone this book that I found at Annie's, and this catalog is $9.99, and so that's why I wanted to do this video, is because if you're like me, it's kind of hard to spend $9.99 on a magazine and you're not sure what all is going to be in that magazine. So I thought, well, I'm going to show this to you guys in case y'all wanted to buy it because I am very impressed with this magazine. And so I felt like I just had to show it to you guys because um, I, I just thought it was just the best Halloween magazine I've ever come across. And so I wanted to share this with you guys. So let's just take a look. Oh yeah, you can find this at Annie's. I'll leave a link below. And um, you can also find it, I'll leave the link to Amazon. And if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping. Um, I found this at my Michael's when I was standing in line to pay. I had looked over and I saw this. And I did pass it up the first time. And then when I went back to Michael's, it was just calling my name. And so while I was standing in line waiting, I thought I'd flip through it a little bit. And I mean, I was already hooked just because this alone. I mean, and then these placemats. I mean, I was already hooked. But by the second time I went up there, I was like, okay, I've got to get that. And so as I was looking through it, I said, well, I've got to share this with you guys because a lot of you may be like me and you're not at your local Michaels and you had no idea that this magazine was even out there. So I'm going to show this with you guys and I will cover, I will cover up the pattern and I will only show you, um, you know, the picture. Okay. So, when you open it up, um, it kind of, you know, shows you a couple few things here. It shows you the, it has the table of contents. Look at this stuff. Just look at this stuff telling you that's in here. Oh, my gosh. Get right here. Okay. So, this blanket right here is my daughter. She, as soon as she saw that, she was like, Mom. We got to have that. And I'm like, yeah, we do. But then I'm thinking, but I'm the one that's going to have to make it. So, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'd like to make two of them. But, you know, we all know that how long it takes to make something. So, I don't know. But it is beautiful. I do love, love, love that. I can even see that same pattern uh, being done in, you know, all seasons. Just change it up, whatever uh, holiday you got. But anyway, so I'm in love with that one. Okay, let's look at this one. Now, I'm just learning to do graph cans, so I feel confident that I could probably do that one. I mean, that is gorgeous. Yes. Okay, looks like we have another pillow. Looky there. It says, eek. Too, too cute. Okay, guys, look at this one. This is made with a pint jar, and you can also do it with a quart size jar. But isn't that just so cute? Okay, now we have the candy corn cap. And um, that's a very popular pattern. I even made one of those for my doll. 18 inch dolls. All right, okay, here are some jack-o'-lantern coasters. Look at that, beautiful. Yep, just beautiful. All right, and here's what I've been waiting for. Look at that. That is so cute. Now, this right here has to be one of my favorite things in here is the candy corn cat. Because I have never seen anything like this. I mean, there, there's cat patterns all over the place, but I've never seen one done in a candy corn style. So, yes, I'm in love with that one. All right, everyone, here we go. The candy corn throw. And I don't see that as just for Halloween. I, I can see that for just to have as your decoration. I mean, not just Halloween. All right, here's one of the things I was looking forward to. Looky there, the placemats. And what I like about these placemats is it looks like, 
You don't even have to use this for Halloween. You could do this for uh, all your seasons and just change up the striped colors, change the background, and just change this. But you ba use this basic pattern for all your holiday seasons. That's quite what I get out of that. Gorgeous. All right, it looks like we have a spider. Isn't that cute? The kids would love that. Okay, there's one of the other things that I was looking forward to seeing are these goodie bags. And I could actually see those being more than just goodie bags. I mean, I think they'd be cute to use during the month of October to put your crochet projects and knitting projects and stuff in there and carry it around. What a conversation piece that would be. All right, now look at this one. I'm not sure how that's done, but that is cool. Now, that looks fun. Halloween checkers, look at that. Yep, that's cute. It's just endless in this magazine. Look at that. Just love it. There's a table runner. Look at that. Spooky night table runner. Okay, we got a bear, pumpkin patch bear. Yep, adorable. All right, we got a jack-o'-lantern basket. I don't know if I'd put popcorn in it, but I'd put candy, wrapped candy. Yeah, I'd like to make that one for sure. It looks like it's probably, you gotta be able to do that uh, graph can stuff to it, probably. Okay, looks like we have a blanket. Beautiful. All right, there's our boo, the boo ghost. <laughs> now it says, these little ghosts are turning somersaults to send spooky greetings to one and all. Yep, that's cute. Okay, that's a pot holder. It's kind of scary looking. Yep, definitely scary looking to me. Looks like it's trying to be friendly, but it looks kind of scary. We have another one. That one just looks sad. <laughs> All right, so looky, there they are. Look at that. Yeah, so we have a Frankenstein cozy and we have the pumpkin cozy. Okay, so that is all that's in the magazine. And here is the project gallery to show you everything that's in here. Anyway, so I just wanted to share this with you guys because I just thought it was just the coolest magazine and um, for Halloween. So, uh, yeah, go out and grab you one. <laughs> all right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.